Hello. Today we are going to solve some questions from ISS 2019 paper 2. So the first question is the question number 42. In this question we are given alpha where alpha is a fraction. Then the non-randomized Neyman Pearson test and the likelihood ratio test of a simple hypothesis against a simple alternative hypothesis then which of the following is correct. We need to find that. The first option says that they are one and the same. The second option says that they are equivalent. The third option says that they are exactly opposite. And the last option says that one cannot say anything about it. Therefore, we can say and we know that the correct option is they are one and they are same. So A is the correct answer. Now let's check another question. This is the second question, the question number 43. In this question, we are given that, that T1 is a sufficient statistics of theta and T2 is an unbiased estimator of theta. Then an improved estimator of theta in terms of its efficiency is whether expectation of T1 into T2 or expectation of T1 plus T2 or expectation of T1 given T2 or it is expectation of T2 given T1. To solve this, we have to know the Rao-Blackwell theorem. By the Rao-Blackwell theorem, Rao the, by the Rao-Blackwell theorem, we know that if T1 is a sufficient statistic and T2 is an unbiased estimator, then expected value of t2 given t1 uh, will be an improved estimator over t1 okay sorry over t2 now let's prove this. First of all, we have to show that expectation of T2 given T1 is also an unbiased estimator. So therefore expected value of expectation of T2 given T1 which results in expectation of T2 is equals to theta as T2 is an unbiased estimator given by the question. Therefore this estimator is uh, already a unbiased estimator. Now we have to check that variance of T2 is always greater than variance of expectation of T2 given T1. So variance of T2 can be written as expectation of the variance of T2 given T1 plus variance of expectation of T2 given T1. Now variance of T2 given T1 must be positive therefore this term is greater than equals to 0 and expectation of t2 given t1 is theta therefore variance of theta here we get variance of theta okay sorry we made a mistake here this is not variance of theta uh, we just write it as it is as this is a variance term then it must be positive therefore the expected value is must be positive and we write the variance of expectation of t2 given t1 as it is therefore if we drop this term if we drop this term we get variance of t2 is greater than variance of expectation of t2 given t1 okay so we can say that expectation of T2 given T1 is an unbiased estimator and a better one than T2. Therefore, the right option is the option D. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much.